Aloha Kako. Hello all. It's time for our final hula lesson of the summer. So this is our last Aloha Friday. We're going to take a nap in August and then we'll be back in September. So today you learned the hands, you learned the feet, you learned the beginning and ending. We're going to bring everything together. We're going to dance through our hula uh, one full time and then we're going to go through a second time and kind of pick apart trouble areas. So some things I want you to focus on is to make sure that you're not going too fast or too slow for this song. It is a slower song, so it's actually a little bit harder to keep up with. So what I mean with that is if Hanalei is an eight count, that you're not doing this really quick and then holding it. The story of hula is in the hands. I know I've said that a lot, but the story of hula is in the hands. So when they stop moving, they stop telling the story. So we want them to constantly be moving and be keeping. If they do pause, that's a pivotal focus point. But for the most part, they stay moving. They don't do this really quick and then stay. So for example, Hanalei Moon during the chorus or vamp, there's a eight count. So you don't want to do this and then hold it. You want to slowly bring it out so that there's that constant movement. And you want your bay to be circular, not this. Um, same with moon. You want it to always be moving. Keep it in line with your feet. When, you're, when your feet tap, that's where you should be hitting like a key. That's where the end should be. So what I mean by that is instead of, of this, you shouldn't get to this part until you tap. So, you know, one, two, three, tap. If it's a longer one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have to get that timing right. Um, other things, you know, make sure you're paying attention to the story that you're telling. So our moon, we kind of want it to look like we're holding the moon, not necessarily like this, but you know, we want to give that illusion of the moon. Um, so just little things like that. And we always want our elbows up. So, um, you know, when we're doing the vamp, we don't want it to look like this. We want nice, strong arms. When you're doing a uh, Hawaii, you definitely want those nice, strong, proud arms because you're representing the island. So we'll go through things like that after we dance the hula one time through so we can really, really make sure that we know it. and. Are we ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. It's going to happen.
We did it. See, I haven't noticed parts where I, I messed up, like on the very end, I, I did this part instead of Aloha. So the main thing is to just keep going, even if you mess up, just keep going, try to get through it, because then the next time around, I promise you'll be better. <laughs> so just keep playing through it. Um, so if you have any questions about parts that you're struggling with, feel free to email me, L-R-E-G-A-N at cityofsierramadre.com. Otherwise, some key points that I already went over, make sure your arms are strong. Make sure if it's an eight count or you're doing one move for uh, one, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap, that you're slowing down that move. So, you know, one, two, three, tap, one, two. The hands should always be moving. So there's that, you know, one, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap. The the moon one where it comes up is a little bit easier because I, I made you switch directions. So it's a one, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap. So if you have any questions, let me know. I think uh, one thing I failed to mention is to smile. Um, it's always wonderful to smile during a hula. It makes um, you feel connected to the song because usually the songs are about happy things. The only time you wouldn't smile is when they're um, serious songs and we do have some that are very serious. Um, but for the most part, you want to smile. So, you know, when you see, I mean, this is a song about um, a beautiful, beautiful bay in Hawaii. And so we want to show that beauty with our smile and our story and our footwork. So make sure you're smiling, make sure that you're um, keeping your timing right, not going too fast, not going too slow. Um, I tend to go too fast. So uh, when I was practicing earlier, I didn't record it, but when I was practicing earlier, <laughs> um, the very first part when you see Hanale, I was going one, two, I was just, I would kept doing an eight count for Hanale and then it was throwing off um, all my other motions because um, that count is important. Uh, I always start going um, this direction. So if I all of a sudden have switched to going this direction, then my hands, my whole, everything gets thrown off. So make sure that you're you don't have to necessarily count, but you know where uh, you're starting and where you're stopping. So if you happen to be doing these, I would love to see videos of them. You can post them on our social media or um, you can email them to me. But if we want to, we can go through and kind of break down. So we've already gone over the um, beginning and ending really well. I know I did that last week so some of the other parts you know when you see it's a four count Hanalei four count eight count right and then eight count back down um to be in heaven okay and then four count and then another thing i wanted to mention with the hellas is to make sure that those are going slow it's really easy to do this and then you're just kind of sitting there. So you'll be in heaven by the sea, four count. One, two, three, four. And then I like to tap and then we go back to sea again. So again, that's part of what I was talking about where if we didn't pause here and the sea wasn't going this way, <laughs> then the whisper would start this way. So it just makes sure we're getting, we're stopping it and starting at the right parts, parts. And so whisper is an eight count. So make sure you're taking your time. Um, you are mine. So mine is this nice little wave over the heart. Whereas when we hug, think of it as a hug. So it is like aloha is that nice hug. And you are mine, don't ever, you know, go away. It's where we, we don't want to leave. So little things like that. So, you know, um, the details are important. And 
smiling and making sure your hands are nice and crisp when they do their motions so that it's not, you know, Um, we we want to take hula seriously simply because it is um, it is a cultural thing and it is very important to Hawaiians. <laughs> so um, the more that we pay attention and the more that we um, put effort and thought and really uh, honor it, um, the, the more wonderful it is for everyone. <laughs> so so if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I would love to see your finished hulas. I hope you have enjoyed this over the summer and I hope to see you in the fall. Have a wonderful day. Aloha.